Hey girl, I am back with another video and this is going to be a product review on drugstore products. Now, I haven't used drugstore products in my natural hair for years. I've typically kind of stuck to the more expensive hair products, but I want to go back to, you know, using some drugstore products that are inexpensive and they're easy to find and they smell really good. So I am going to be doing my braid out using only drugstore products and as you can see didn't come out that bad so maybe I'll stick with using drugstore products let's see how this goes but hit that subscribe button and also if you love drugstore products give me a like below so that I can know how many of you actually use drugstore products or comment below and let me know if you use drugstore products and if you do what your favorite drugstore products are so that I can kind of take a look at that and see what I might want to try next but yeah I am going to be doing a braid out using only drugstore products so let's get into this video but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become part of my sisterhood because I'd love to have you and also hit that notification bell so when I do upload you will always be in the know but let's get started with this video So I have low porosity hair and I have fine strands and I have type 4 hair and for some reason I have this idea in my mind that my type 4 hair just prefers more like expensive hair products so I tend to stay away from the cheaper hair products but let's see if I'm actually right because I could be wrong. Let's see. So my scalp is still sensitive from doing that scalp exfoliation and it's really starting to freak me out. Like when I detangle my hair, it hurts. I feel like I'm just tender headed now and it's like, I do not have the hair type to be tender headed because these kinks and coils, they get tangled. So this really sucks.
Okay, so now that my hair is done and I've taken my braid out down, let's jump into how I feel about these products and the pros and cons of these products. Okay, so let's start with the Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish Butter Cream Leave-In Treatment. So this is what I use to style my hair. I did the LCO method. My water was my liquid. This buttercream was my cream. And the OGX oil that I use was my oil. So this is the Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish Buttercream Leave-In Treatment with Coconut Jojoba and Macadamia Oils. It is for defined frizz resistant curls and it's supposed to give you three days of moisture and it is a proven strength treatment. So in terms of how this worked in my hair, um, it it kind of left a little bit of a residue on my hair like I can feel this product sitting on top of my hair it did not in any way penetrate into my hair I don't feel like it got into my cuticles or my hair strand and it's not providing me with any real benefits it's pretty much just sitting on the outside of my hair and just coating the hair which does provide you with you know protection from the elements and things like that and it is supposed to be a frizz resistant system so sitting on the outside of my hair strands could help prevent frizz because the humidity can't penetrate my hair or things like that but in terms of being healthy to my hair long term when the product can't penetrate my hair and get into my hair strands and give me real moisture if it just sits on top of the strands the whole time long term this isn't going to help my hair long term i'm not going to have moisturized hair i'm not going to have hydrated hair so products like these um are good for you know using every once in a while but for me to use it as like my staple product i do feel like in the long run it would be bad for my hair my hair would not be very moisturized when i wash it and things like that and this product washed off of my hair i feel like i'd have very frizzy dry hair that is prone to breakage but let's read this some more and see what it says it's supposed to do for us so this is made with active fruit protein it says hair is almost entirely made up of protein which gives hair its strength all new paraben free fruitese formulas with active fruit protein an exclusive combination of citrus protein vitamin b3 and b6 fruit and plant derived extracts and strengthening conditioners are designed for healthier stronger hair which i guess if this is a protein based styler the fact that it is sitting on the outside of my strands and not penetrating into my strands and providing me with the moisture I said I was lacking does make more sense. Um, but like I said, I've said in previous videos, I'm not protein sensitive, so I don't typically use stylers with protein in it. I prefer to use deep conditioners with proteins in it and do conditioning treatments for added strength not necessarily use stylers with protein for added strength so I think that does play a role in why it's working in my hair the way that it is and it is this is our rich quenching leave-in cream with coconut jojoba and macadamia oils replenishes for long-lasting moisture I don't know about that Hair is stronger, curls are more defined, shinier, and soft. And it says directions. After using curl nourishing shampoo and conditioner, apply a quarter size portion to damp or dry hair. Distribute throughout hair, do not rinse. And this product does have silicones in it and I haven't really been using silicone products. I'm not on the curly girl method or anything like that. I just haven't really been using silicone products because I don't believe that they provide me with healthy hair. I don't find the need for products that have silicones in it, so I typically stay away from them. So using this product, which is supposed to be protein based, but it's also supposed to provide moisture, I can totally feel like the difference with how my hair responds to it. I can feel the fact that my hair isn't really absorbed 
absorbing it. It's not using the product in any way that I feel like is beneficial to my hair. So those are a few of the cons. A few of the pros are it smells pretty decent. It's not a super strong scent. It's not a scent that lingers and will irritate you if you're sensitive to scents. It has the typical Garnier Fructis scent, or it's a little bit fruity, um, so I can't specify what fruit exactly it smells like, but it does have more of a fruity scent. And a big pro about this product is it's only about $4.99, so it's fairly inexpensive. It's easily accessible. You can get it at most drugstores, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Target. Um, so I don't think it's hard to find. Maybe if you're a newbie in your natural hair journey, this might be a good product to start with because it's inexpensive and it's easy to use and you can get pretty decent results from it while you're still learning your hair and figuring things out with your hair. I guess that could be a pretty good pro, but in my opinion, the cons outweigh the pros. For my hair and with the knowledge I have for my hair, I don't think I would repurchase this product. I think this is going to be a one-time use and then toss it. Now, I um, have seen like some people on YouTube who do like this product, but I also see that our hair is extremely different, like extremely different. I have low porosity hair and I have fine strands. So because of that, my hair doesn't really absorb products that well anyway. And then because of my strand size, sometimes it can get weighed down. So I don't think my hair is not absorbing this product because I'm low porosity. Because after two days of air drying, my hair typically will absorb most products if I give it sufficient time to dry and do what it needs to do but even after two days this product is still sitting on the outside of my strands and I can feel the residue of it so I don't think that has anything to do with my low porosity I just don't think my hair cares for these products and I think I've kind of spoiled my hair at this point because I don't use drugstore products so I think my hair is like mm, no we're not doing this we're not doing this so it's just not gonna be something that I reuse and then for my oil I did use the OGX Kakui oil and this is an anti-frizz hydrating oil so I felt like it went really well with this leave-in treatment because this this Garnier Fructis was also anti-frizz so I felt like they would work well together and this says indulge your tresses with this exotic blend of Kakui nut oil an ancient Hawaiian secret used for its humidity resistant abilities creating a shimmery gloss to smooth texture and repel humidity make every day a good hair day it says spray evenly all over clean damp hair in style as usual can be used on dry hair to calm frizz and hydrate curls. And this also has silicones in it. So this doesn't really have any, um, one, two, three, four, five, like the fifth ingredient is the Kukui seed oil. And before that, it's stuff that I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. But naturals know what oils are. And this is not an oil. I'm sorry. So I don't think I would reuse this. And then look how much of it I used in like one usage. That's a lot. So I just don't think these drugstore products work well for me. I don't think they're the best option for me. But like I said, if you're new in your hair journey, you're still figuring your hair out, these are relatively inexpensive. This Kukui nut oil was only about $5.99 as well. So like I said, you can get it for a very inexpensive price. And this is also easily accessible. You can find it at most stores and get your hands on it. Now the scent of this is divine. Like I love the way this smells like if OGX can't do anything else right they know how to make their products smell good because every time I smell one of their products I like feel like I need to buy it even though I know their products don't work well for my hair um I can't use their shampoos can't use their conditioners all of their creams I've ever used didn't really work in my hair 
these little generic oils that they have don't work well for my hair but I will still buy it just because it smells good I always get caught up in the scents from this line but overall it's a no I would not repurchase this I would not reuse this is this a decent braid out yes but I have a lot of residue and buildup on my hair and when you typically have buildup um, this could be from being low porosity this could actually be the side effect of being low porosity the buildup that I feel you typically have to go in and do a clarifying wash which can be pretty stripping to your hair because you have to use sulfates to remove the buildup in the product that's left over on your hair so I don't think it's worth it to use silicone based cheap drugstore products just because they're more inexpensive and easily accessible I would rather go to Sally's or the beauty supply store or even the little black section in Walmart and Target and select products that are a little bit more expensive but have better quality ingredients in them just because I like to take care of my hair my hair is important to me so I don't mind dropping a few dollars on my hair because in my opinion it's worth it but if you're on a budget and you still want to get products that will somewhat moisturize your hair there's nothing wrong with using these I encourage you to do what's best for you and your bank account so I am in no way telling you to buy only expensive hair products because I want you to do what's best for you but for my hair I think I'm gonna stick with the products that I have been using and kind of stay away from the drugstore products because I don't like product buildup I don't like the residue it's giving me I don't like the fact that my hair is actually still damp and not completely dry so if I did want to separate and fluff right now my hair would be frizzy I typically wait about an hour or two before I separate and fluff but this time I think I'm gonna wait about five hours before I separate and fluff just because I don't want frizzy hair. So yeah, it's not my best, but not my worst either. If you recall, I did a review on Texture ID, which isn't a super expensive line either, but it is more expensive than drugstore products and I didn't really care for that product line either. So. You know, you just gotta try things out, see what works best for your hair, see what your hair responds to, and just go from there. But I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe because I'd love to have you. But until next time, see ya!